Um, processing the image in an image processing fashion, which because it is a, a computer, uh, which uh, it is a signal um, very similar to how you would. Also, for example, color, which brings uh, so I'm adjusting the sampling size because well now there is three components to one sample uh, in that case. Oh, ah, the wrong one. Yes, fancy. Um, these pardon ah uh, no the problem is I did ah uh, initially okay let's cheat uh, write it uh, on a different computer and I'm using a static lookup for all the possible sample formats but that sound card is crap uh, so it can't do all the formats But actually, color does most of the time not make that much uh, that much of a difference because it's about the rhythm in the signal, kind of. Um, but now I would like to show you just quickly a, a, a demo of how I learned to play with it. So that's an. So what I can do, for example, is take a gradient and use it to make a bit more of a rhythm. Okay. Then I can get rid of a lot of the noisy stuff by doing an edge detection. Oh, that didn't work like I expected, but that's most of the time like that. <laughs> Well, let's bring some action to the game by replicating the signal. Okay. As you can see, you can have a lot of fun trying to tweak the signal into doing something pleasant. Actually, at the moment, it's not that pleasant, but... I did do some samples beforehand, just playing around over and over again.
in here? Well, that's close to music, I say. Well, and that all is just possible. You know, the really, I think, the really amazing thing about it all is, and this was re what really uh, uh, stroked me, is that I had an idea and I just had to write a few lines of code to get all that functionality and just because there was open source software that was able to, sus to sustain my very brutish hacks and that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, if you're interested, I can show you, give you a quick um, glimpse into the source code. So, uh, so you do see what I mean? Um, well, let's start with that one. That's the C source code of a play, and I just turned it into a header, and then I partitioned the code into a few functional calls. Playback init, <laughs> which, is the, which is the main, uh, and takes the parameters in command line style. And, um, well, playback, playback open, playback start, uh, playback quit. Uh, and on the other side, there is, um, oh, I have it in a different directory, but. Yeah. Oh. Well, there is the there is the standard GIMP example for I think it was blurring or dithering, so a very simple example of um, um, iterating over drawable, and those I connected. Oh. Into that. The, well, that's the GUI code. But uh, the magic, if I may call it <laughs> like that, is here in Fumble, where I'm sitting, uh, setting up the rates and then just iterate and push it onto the PCM channel. Um, well, since I did not understand that this might, might be actually fun for others too, <laughs> I didn't put it online, oh, until yesterday. I hope that one works. But now it is online. Well, the, the build is an adventure, but it is simple. Uh, pardon? Ah, hotspot. Well, I tested it with uh, GIMP 2.6, so it should not be hard to uh, build and for you to play around with it. Have fun. timing is dictated by the sampling format of the sound. Yes, yeah, so if you have uh, 44,100 kilohertz with 8-bit uh, samples, well, that's a lot. And <laughs> yeah, but you know, so I can, sh I can show you what I mean. Okay, if I just, okay, fortune was ahead. In that case, Oh, 
let's do it with something that depicts it better. Yeah, and if I change the sampling size to the quarter. Ah, not the quarter. Yeah, and then I could also go and divide it into channels. Are you, uh, do you know how PCM is encoded? Yeah, uh, well, so I'm... how fast it is actual, I have no idea, and I tried to quickly hack a better progress bar by, um, I don't know how to call those helpers, uh, rulers, aren't they? Uh, yeah, by hacking rulers to move it, but that was not... Uh, yeah, 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 we, we, we know it was an afternoon hack, like, okay, I want to get it to work, I want to play, and... Uh, well, yeah, <laughs> everything beyond that was like, okay, am I fucking GIMP? <laughs> yes, I tried Goernica, and Goernica actually does make a bit of a sense. <laughs> Let's see for channels. Well, I did some experiments to get a feeling for how it does actually work in a mapping sense, you know, how data would look like in an image and then sound. And one example I liked a lot, that is, you know, water as a, oh, as a rhythm. And then, artificial one. I'm in a pool. <laughs> well, of course, simple patterns are also. I mean, uh, where was that one? Ba -ba -ba. But uh, way the coolest stuff are fractals. The, uh, the mathematical language that, uh, I mean the mathematical nature of the fractal is still reflected in a very shallow way in the image um, by its proportions. And those proportions map to a rhythm that makes sense. Mm. It's, okay, now let's just read like that.
and the moral of the story, uh, GIMP, ulcer, and fractals are very cool. <laughs> Just one last thing for Thank you. And with a bit of luck, after the closing talk, we have a small performance. We will make a bit of music. Yeah. yeah. So we have a bit of music at the end of the IGM. Yes. <laughs>